How was Cleveland? Did you go? Yes. What do you mean, did I go? So maybe you back out. <laughs> it was a little tough getting there. What do you I mean? It's a plane. Why? Because the... Were you uh, late? <laughs> Were you late? Well, I was late. I sat <laughs> on the highway watching the plane go because there was a huge accident right in front of the airport. What time did you leave for the airport? The, uh, <laughs> at 5 o'clock when the car got there. And when was your flight? 6.15. Rush hour. Right. Close. Of course, it's rush hour. That's, That's very close. That's when they told me to be downstairs. Oh, you, you don't to, tell anybody anything? No. You going to LaGuardia or Kennedy? LaGuardia. Oh, that should have been the time. That really should have been. Cutting it a little close. No, not cutting it close at all. I, I should have had a half hour at the airport. Yeah, it should have taken around 20 minutes to get there. Yeah. In rush hour? No. Yeah. Well, no, what, what day of the week was this? Friday. Oh, please. Come on. Oh, wait with, a second. Uh, I thought this was Saturday. With Hamptons <laughs> traffic? Oh, on Friday? You should have left at 3.30. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, we would have gotten there had it not been for that accident. We well, sat there that, stuck. Yeah, it's great. An but that accident would have been there anyway. It kept the place all tied you up. You left at 3.30, you would have been there. Yeah, right. Not have been sitting in the airport for five days. So what? So what happened? So what time did you get to Cleveland? Oh, about 9.30. At night? Yeah. Oh, that's not so bad. No, that was the only problem. And then uh, you went there and you signed your book, Quivers yes. of Life? Yes, said hello to all the people of Cleveland. Very nice. Yeah. Did you explain to them that the, the traffic jam held you up? <laughs> traffic jam didn't hold me up for them. All right. But it rained a little bit on us. Oh, did it? Yeah, that was the first time I had a little rain. Yes. And I was a little late for the book signing, but Why? it was not my fault. Why? You were there all day. How could Look, you not? What? Here's the deal. They told me to be downstairs. They, yeah. At n- I don't know where I am. I don't right. know where the book they signing told you. is. I don't know how long Just it's going to take. They to told you. They told me to be downstairs at 1.30. I was downstairs. What time was the book signing? 2 o'clock. Okay. I was downstairs at 1.30, and then they said, oh, what are you going to do about checking out? Mm. And I said, I don't know. What should I do? And they said, oh, you should check out now. Which meant I had to go all the way back upstairs. So you didn't think about that before you left? I, I don't know. What, usually what happens is I go to the book signing and they take <laughs> me go. back well, to the hotel. If this were me, yeah. I'd be on a cross. I know. I don't have you. That's why I'm not those on. They That's are why e- I'm light. Those they are evil people. That's right. But they, they tell me what to do. Right. Usually the routine is after the book signing, they t- I have a couple of hours to hang out at the hotel. Right. So I don't have to check out beforehand. Who's in charge? Who's in charge? Like, who's, no, who's in charge of telling you these things? Yeah. Who's uh, they? Who is Name they. they. Name they them. Paul at o- Harper Collins because he tells everybody else. He doesn't tell me. Oh. So they said, oh, no, the schedule is that you're supposed to go right to the airport from the book signing. I had no idea. So they is Paul. Yeah. And he is supposed to tell you, but he tells everyone else. He tells everyone Who else. Who is everyone else? The, the escort and the security people and the driver. Right. They all knew. I didn't. So I came downstairs just to go to the book signing, and then I had to go all the way back upstairs, close my bag. So what time did you get to the book check signing? Out. The people in the line say I got there at 2.16. I can't imagine that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. She, well, she had a whole day. In other words, she flew there the night before and had a whole morning and, that's and why afternoon. I fly there the night before to prepare. so they can tell me what I you need might. to do. And can't you pick up the phone and ask they? I'm exhausted. 10 oh. o'clock I got there, Howard. And what about in the morning? What time did you wake up? <laughs> Wait a second. I don't wake up. Somebody's banging on my door. I'm exhausted. Howard, she needs somebody with her to call the guy she's got to ask. Right. She's too busy to call the guy. Right. I didn't say I was busy. I said I was tired. Ah. What time did you get up on uh, Saturday? You must have gotten up at some Nine point. o'clock. All right, so you were up at 9, mm-hmm. and what did you do from 9 until 1, 1 30? I lay in the bed and moan. No, come on, what did you do from <laughs> 9 to 1? Did you lay in bed? Did you relax in bed? I lay in bed and moan. Uh, yes. Come on, don't, don't be dramatic. I did. This I watched the book. Street Fighter. Yeah. All right, so you watched <laughs> movies from 9 to 1 30. Uh, one movie. All right. There's nobody there to tell them to do it. Oh. <laughs> this is no excuse. I don't say it's an excuse. I say that's what happened. All right. That's better. Now you're cured. <laughs> yeah. I, I can tell you about our, our intern. Uh, there were no pictures with that. Sometimes people say there are and there aren't. Well, oh, she really? said she sent pictures th- in the previous letter. Oh, I, yeah. So I wouldn't even know. I'll have to go oh. look it up then. Mm-hmm. And Tom says no high school interns. Well, she could be in college by now. That was February. Right. Tom says no high school interns. Why? Because that's the rule. What, what, who made the rule? Tom. Tom. Rule? And Tom is a moron, so why would we follow any of his rules? Like G. Gordon Liddy says, don't follow the rules. <laughs> if there's Tom comes a, there's in, no we... law that says you yeah. can't have a high school intern? What do you mean? Intern? No high school interns. What? That's this girl is 18. She has the body of a college student. 34, 24, 34. She's very advanced. Yeah. This is not a girl who uh, is really in high school. And besides all that, look at her resume. Let's get her on merit. Should I call her and ask her to forward some pictures? Please. Because they'll help in the process. Yeah. Why don't you get her on the phone? Let me give her a personal interview. Okay. All right. She could be in college, and that would clear this right up. Right. 
Tom, uh, we have a rule here, long-standing rule, no high school interns. Oh, yeah? Well, why do you have that rule? He couldn't tell you why. I don't know. He would have no answer. He would sit here and go, because that's the way it is. And I'd go, well, yeah, that's the way what is. It's the way it is. <laughs> Where is he? He's right here. He could tell us. Why. I don't want to see his face this early in the morning. I really don't. Okay, I don't need to. Face. Why don't you want to see him? Yeah. It's cute if you're a woman, I guess. <laughs> To a guy, don't do a thing. <laughs> don't do anything for you, huh? Yeah. I might appoint her you a book signing assistant. That might be <laughs> well, her interest. That would be helpful because I can't seem to get it mm. together. Her job, will be, her job will be to make the call to talk to they. <sighs> Howard, you know what? I'm not even going to discuss this with you because you have no idea how I feel at this point. You have no idea what I've been through. And so I just tell you what happened. I'm not even going to get into it with you. I don't care what you think You know what? Me. When I go away on these things, a lot of times, this is just a suggestion. A lot of times I pick up the phone and I, I, I call care what you do. and I no. go, I don't care what yes, you do. Yes, you do, because no, you don't know what to do. I know exactly what I'm doing. I hear you blaming a lot of people. I, who blamed? You. I said somebody was supposed to tell me, but they didn't. What can I do? This is what happened. Sometimes I think about it. Like, I'll be laying in my room, and I'll go, gee, I'd like to get out of here at whatever time it is that the book signing is over. And I go, hmm. You anticipate. Yeah, I'll go, well, maybe I should you know check what? out. And sometimes he doesn't. I don't know. There seems to be a lot of they. You know what? All, all I can say is you better just leave me alone. Why? What would happen? Because <laughs> I don't want to be bothered with you and your opinions of what should happen. If you're with bothered. With you your 5,000 assistants. But you're, but you're late for everything. With you and your 5,000 assistants, so I don't want to so hear So then get 5,000 assistants. I don't have time to do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whatever you have to do. I mean, you shouldn't be late for your book signings. Just screw you and let's no. go on with the show. You shouldn't be late. <laughs> I just wish I was in that hotel room. Yeah. I'm not in that hotel hotel lobby you do wish when you she were. was informed no, but do you understand she had something? to go back and pack. But do you understand something? Oh, oh. She came there the night before, which was very good, yeah. very responsible. She, she missed the plane. I'm doing all I can. No, excuse me. She had missed the plane. To do that whole morning. You know what? Like, I'm leaving. And the whole, morning was, the whole morning was free. The whole morning was free. <laughs> she had the whole morning free. And all of a sudden, it's time to get in the car to go to the book signing and there was something else to do for her. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so then after the books, I mean, why wouldn't you I mean, get to the books? She was checking out, right? Yeah, how about getting to the book signing she at left. noon? She left. she left. Not only that, I mean, yeah. In in the, I was talk, thinking about it earlier. It's like you're supposed to be at the airport for domestic flights one hour before takeoff. She was leaving her apartment one hour before takeoff. Yeah, okay, but okay, so fine. But so that wasn't the book signing. So even if she point. ended up there late at 9 o'clock. That's bad planning. Yeah, but, but even if she, so that doesn't the point matter. point was she was in Cleveland with nothing to do except yeah. that book signing. That was her sole job that morning. Right. And all of a sudden, it's time to get in the limo, and... It's not like she has to go find a place. Yeah, what's that all about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's going on in that organization? I mean, you if you had nothing to do all day in Cleveland, one thing you'd do is find out what you had to do after the book signing. And there ain't that much no, to but, do. But, but not even that so much. You would say, well, let's leave for the book signing at, you know, what time? You know? Right. Where is it? How far? Yeah, it's gonna take some time. You might. I have hate traffic. to. I hate to say this, but maybe get there a few minutes early. <laughs> <laughs> Sign a few books early. Well, get, yeah. get situated and relax. Cup of coffee, you know. Sure. There you go. Chill. Chill out a little bit. <laughs> Don't have to be so frenzied. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. Yeah, what's happening? All right. Um, hey, Robin's pretty well cured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she went. She had to leave the room because we were di discussing her. She left the show because we were discussing that she couldn't be on time in Cleveland. You mean, she, you think she got mad? Yeah. Well, yeah, she couldn't handle it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, she's very cured. I hope Ganji's chasing her with that. I hope he's got that camera on. No, the camera was on me. Why is the camera on you? Because I was calling this girl to... No, go interview her and ask her if she's cured. If I wanted to talk about it, I'd be in there. Are you going to go back in soon? When they're done. <laughs> if I feel like it. Get out of here. So you might not go back in for a while? I might not, no. Is anybody worried that Robin has not come back yet? I don't know what, what pissed her off, but she was like, not, she didn't like the idea that we were asking her why she was late for her appearance. I never walked out. I simply decided I'd come out here and do some work, so I wouldn't be late for anything else. I think more happened... I, th I think the more you... Yeah, well, I'm just trying to promote her book, so do, I don't, don't know think, exactly what her problem is. You don't think there's any chance she's taking a personal day? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. Should I go look for her? Yeah, well, maybe she's composing herself. Okay. Maybe she couldn't, you know, I'm maybe sure. it was, I'm it worried was about too much. Her. I'm worried about her. Yeah. She'll be all right. She's professional. She like, right now, this is not professional, but she would be professional. This is like what Dan Rather did. He walked out in the middle of a broadcast. That's true. That's really weird.
<laughs> Everyone's afraid to go to Robin. Dude, scream at me. Why don't you both go? Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. John, you can do it. I know I could do it. I'm I'm I just want to hear it. Oh, you want to hear her yell at me? <laughs> hey, tell me something, Grill. He wants an interviewing job. What's up? What are you doing? <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm getting a little much needed rest. Well, you're not really mad at him. Yes. So you're 19 now? Yeah. Rob, you're kidding, right? I'm not doing anything, John. I'm working. That's not what you were going to ask her. Well, I was going to ask her, how could you walk out when you, I mean, you could dish it out, but when, you, when it's on you, you walk out? No, John, that's not it. <laughs> I'm just very straight. You never walked out of the show. I'm very tired. <laughs> I didn't want to argue with somebody about how tired I am. Uh, all right, well, then we'll leave you alone, Robin. You know, it's easy when you're not in somebody's shoes to say what they should be doing. So you're upset. You want a hug? No, I don't want to hug, you John. Sure? I would actually want to go home and go to sleep. Uh, if I was really doing what I wanted to do, I'd be sleeping. Yeah, well, you look kind of tired. You're right, I'm though. very tired. All right, Robin, uh, I'll leave you alone. You know, you know, the, you know the, Doug, Doug made me come in here and ask you, you know. Well, that's okay, John. <laughs> hey, Ralph, shut the hell up. You're the little pussy. You didn't want to come in there and ask yourself. <laughs> like, it wasn't my question. Who was it? <laughs> you told me to ask it. So what's with Robin? Is she, like, left the show? Is she quit? Is she just stewing in the newsroom? I'd like to know where she's stewing. Was she getting a lot madder than she was letting on? I don't know. What happened to Robin? Did I she just go went home? I in there and talked to her. Yeah. I said, Robin, how could you, you know, how could you dish it out? But then when it goes to you, you can't take it. Yeah. And she just said, John, I'm tired, and I'm very tired, and I wish some people could be in some people's shoes and realize, you know, how it is to be this tired. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. So where is she? She's in the office. She looks, her, she looks very tired. And very she's upset. not, and she's not coming back on the air. She, she says she, she quit just, the show. She seems very upset. She says she's working and she's pulling news. And she quit she, the is show. She, is she in the news? Room? She's in the newsroom right there. Why don't you hold open the door and have a conversation? She with quit her. the show. Is that it? I know. I think she's teaming up. I mean, is that it? Is it like Abbott and Costello breaking up? It's Martin and Lewis, man. <laughs> Maybe it's that time of month or something. No. no. She can handle that. <laughs> We're all tired. Yeah. I had to sit by my pool with my kids all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm torture. exhausted. Well, it was very uncomfortable. I didn't. She really? wasn't yelling at me. She was just like very uh, patronizing. I see. She's just like, well, John, I'm tired. The book signing was Saturday, not Sunday, right? Well, yeah, yeah but, but maybe it was tired. You know, you had to fly back. <laughs> and sit in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> so she only had all day Sunday to recover. Yeah, but you don't know. You, you're not you in her know. shoes, in, quite, right. in all fairness. That's true. That's right. That's true. And you're not tired. Do you want me to hold the door open or something? <laughs> no, I mean, if Robin needs her space, then you got to give it to her. That's her business. All right. That's her business. I can't interfere with that. Wow. Sometimes people need space. Lord knows I need some space. <laughs> when you walk off, <laughs> if I walk off, that'll be it. Then that'll be the end of the show. Robin, are you concerned about the show might fall apart in a few minutes? Yes, no. You think it'll be all right without you? Mm hmm. Oh, oh, You're not going to go back in? Not in the show. Get the ring out of my. <laughs> my what are you doing? You're like, are you protesting? He and a group of friends came to the area on 36. You're back. Well, thank you, Ralph. That's a compliment coming from you. But I love you. I said it was a compliment coming from you. <laughs> This is cut number three. She's going to do the show from out here. Um, I'm going to make you do the show privately for a minute. I must take a break. And uh, obviously Robin has uh, bowed out of the show today. Which is uh, there's always something unusual going on every day on this program. Intrigue. This is this is the I, first time ever she's done this. I'm I'm very shocked. I think it's you know the book thing was a lot of pressure and I think a lot of pressure, a lot of the signings. Book well, just the whole thing, you know, putting the whole book together. It's Maybe she ought to. Is it? Did it not? I mean, I don't know. Is that what she told you? Well, she said. I mean, she said it was a lot of work putting right. the whole book together. Right. And you know, I guess it's just a. I just you know, there's a lot riding on it for her. Right. Sell a lot of books. Well, that's it. what I was trying to do just now. I sell a lot of books. It's for important her. to her. Right. Well, that's what I was just trying to do I by get, talking I, about the book. I get it. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> she get it. But what do you think? Is this a collapse for Robin? Is this back to? Is this for the sequel of the book? Is this trying to? I think she's trying to write it. Because in the book, she says she used to do stuff like this, but 
she had stopped. You know, and she also might feel that, you know, we don't really give it to her that much. Right. And this has been a reason, you know, we did give her the polygraph. I wasn't giving her anything. I mean, this is, you know, it's all promotion. She, she was late yeah. for the book signing. I want to know why. She, she seems very emotional, if I could say that. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, listen, we'll give her some time to cool down. We're going to take a break and we'll be back right after these words. You know, it's, just, it's a strange excuse. You know, and, and none of us on the show would be able to get away with that. When Jack, there was a, a time when Jackie walked off the show one day. Jackie, we were hassling about something and Jackie got the impression that we were ganging up on him. And Jackie decided that he wanted to take a personal day. And Howard was pretty probing about it. What would happen if Baba Bowie decided to... There's, there's, I mean, you, you just don't get to stop until it's explained to Howard and Robbins, you know, to the degree that they feel that you've given them the answer they want. And they just, they're fucking relentless until then. Still tired? Yes, I am. What are you doing here? I guess you're going back in. Getting ready for Alice and boarding up windows. The hurricane's heading for the Florida Panhandle this morning. The eye of the storm expected to hit the coast around Little Rock City and Apalachicola. Some people are getting out, many are staying. You got an update on Robin's condition? Where is she? No, I was just getting coffee and I heard her say that she's fine. She's, she's just, okay? She's a little too tired to do the show. She's not doing the show? No, no. I just heard her say she was tired. Oh. She's tired and isn't doing the show? I, I, I didn't catch it all, but uh, she, said, she said she wasn't upset. She's just tired. Oh. But we're all tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I would like to not do the show, too. I saw her Robin in the hallway, and she just, you know, everyone was asking her if she was okay. She's very calm. And she, she's everyone calm. asked her if she was okay, and she said, I'm just very tired, and I don't, don't want to, you know, she's back. I'm Robin, like, oh, what happened? Did you, did you get so tired you couldn't do the show? That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> That's what everyone's telling me. Well, I, I don't believe know, that. I quite frankly, enjoy the interpretation of me that yeah. I hear. I've never, seen, on I've never seen you this tired. I am exhausted. But maybe, what happened, though? I, I couldn't, you couldn't I deal didn't with have it? the energy. I didn't have the energy to do that. I don't think it's a big deal that you were late for the Cleveland no, Book Signing appearance. it's not a matter of whether it was a big deal or not. I couldn't, you know, I, it was three people, and usually I have no problem out shouting all of you and all right. of that stuff. Right. I don't have the energy for it. But today. it really wasn't an argument. It was just kind of a cute story it that you were late. It wasn't even about that. But if I wanted to say something, I couldn't make myself heard oh. because I don't have the energy to do it. I thought you were doing fine, by the way. About what? I, about oh, making yourself heard. You know what? Go ahead. Come on. You know what? I, you can <laughs> go out and find a hot fire hydrant and just sit on it and swing your legs. Don't give me that patronizing BS. <laughs> well, I thought you were doing just fine. <laughs> she caught her nap. <laughs> you sound rested now. I'm you not rested Maybe I should take a few minutes rest. <laughs> Robin, I told all the guys that I thought they were you, wrong. You, oh, please. <laughs> I heard wrong about what? what? Asking her about me. Cleveland? Yeah, you don't a line. even, <laughs> don't even start, mister. I've talked to Robin. She said it was a lot of work putting the book together, blah, blah, well, blah. Well, you blah, did. Blah, isn't that what it, isn't that why you're tired? <laughs> no, I'm tired of running from running around the country. Here comes. Right, the but that's all part I of. I the... worked all during uh, writing the book. Did you ever see me not here, Gary? No, no, no. I'm just saying that the whole thing is a big emotional I experience. I would appreciate it if you didn't try to interpret who I am and what I. You know, I spend ten seconds talking to Gary three times a year, and he knows all about me. She loves me, doesn't she? <laughs> she says she says that I hate her. Well, someone during the commercial said, "Hey, maybe Gary should go in and talk to Robin." That's John and Gary were talking about it, and Gary goes, "No, I don't think I'm the right person." <laughs> just, but he certainly can tell you about me on the air. Okay. Well, he's just trying. He's just trying to figure it all out. R Robin, you've interpreted me many times without getting inside my I've mind, and I don't mind it. I've never said why you do something. Hmm. Oh, I see. I, 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 I'll tell you what you do, what you don't do. I've never said why. Sincerely, I'm very sorry. I really apologize. Maybe you should uh, not. I'm being analyzed by Baba Booey. But maybe if you're tired from the book signings, maybe you shouldn't oh, do them oh, anymore. Oh, maybe you did that's enough. That's a possibility. Yeah. I'm really wearing out here. Yeah, so stop it already. You did enough promotion. No one can accuse you of not promoting your book. I know who's. Uh, I know what's going on here. Now I figured I the whole thing out. I, I, you can figure out whatever you want. So these are decisions I have made. I didn't realize what a drain it would be. Tell Judith That's you don't want to do there anymore. Is to it. Let Judith go out and sign some books. <laughs> I gotta go. Her head's ready to pop off too. <laughs> what? You gotta say something, Gary? Come back here! Don't you dare! Right now you made Gary walk off the show. <laughs> hey, Robin, I give you this morning. I think it's strange, and I, I think that if any of us did that, we would be. 
held so much more accountable than she's being. If I gave the excuse that I was tired, they wouldn't take that from me for a second. But, you know, I don't know. I'm weirded out by it. I got to tell you, I'm really weirded out by it because, I don't know, I really think the prophet doesn't like me. And it sort of, you know, that sort of really comes across. And um, and I just think that she's held to a different standard than we are. Do you think Howard was really dead on um, No, because you know what? Because, he, he, cause I, I mean, he might have been freaked out about it, but he loves it stuff because it's real and he loves when people act you know act real on the show so I mean Howard looks at it and doesn't say oh my god you know Robert's so bad Howard looks at it and goes wow that's a great radio bit Gary you have to take a rest I, no 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 it's just I, I mean it's really weird I mean I really get the impression Robert doesn't like me. Oh, Paul. But she I mean, doesn't. I mean, I know she doesn't. <laughs> what do you mean you get the I impression? Mean, of course she doesn't I like you. I mean, I know you. she likes to goof around, but I think that, like, no. I think that she's really <laughs> no. irritated you gotta understand now. She's irritated when you critique her because I know. Not critique. you're not it on. It wasn't a critique. There's a certain doing. pecking order. Right. To the show. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. See, okay. again, no, that I get. I'm right here. I feel better. Thanks, Ask Robert. me. Go ahead. It was simply that he was acting as if he had so much uh, personal knowledge of what I'm but going Robin, through. Have, ha, isn't that the show? Haven't right. we all done Everybody that to tries to figure everyone out. You just, and, you know what it is? I think you're just feeling sensitive because you're tired right now. Mm. I think that's a legitimate you explanation. You know what? That's I'm very really possible. I'm really tired of your patronizing attitude. No, hey, listen, whatever. Just go on with the show. Thank you. This is the show. This is this is about the best <laughs> show I can do right now. Go on with the show. You know, you. I, I made notes for the show yesterday, and I said, well, first thing up, I'll ask Robin about Cleveland. He'll help sell the book. <laughs> I didn't know it would be this good. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought I was kind of screwing off. Who knew it before? Yeah, who knew I could get an hour and a half out of it? I'm not giving it up. <laughs> not in your life. I'm fine, fine. Listen, I'm looking to kill four hours, and you're about, you're about the best topic <laughs> right here. I'm looking to kill all of you at right. this point. Well, you, then can I make a request, <laughs> since I have to work with you? Maybe you ought to look into stopping all these book signings. If it's, I mean, if it's really that bad. Uh, uh, what am I, stupid? Uh, I don't know. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. You don't think that has been a consideration for me? I, first of all, <laughs> I didn't know how I. I don't even know how I feel anymore. What happened in Cleveland? Something wow. you're not telling me Nothing something. Nothing happened in Cleveland. I don't know. I got to get to the bottom of this. What went you on know, there? Th this is it. Do you realize I've had no vacation? Do you remember the last time I had a vacation? You wouldn't because you're no, not in my life. I did not. The Listen, last time, you got you to manage your time. The last time yeah. was January of 1994. Yeah. That was the last time I stopped working. Well, let me ask you something. If you feel that way about it, why would you continue doing this? Like I said, I'm a person of my word. If I say oh. I'm going to do something, I do it. I see. So now are you done with your word? My word goes up to the end of this month. Oh, Ooh. Well, then you better go rest between... You better rest in the commercials. <laughs> you can't rest during the show. That's unacceptable. That's absurd. Because being on the well, show if, is if, what if, makes people interested in the book, so you defeat the whole purpose. Well, if I wasn't being battered and beaten, oh, you're I would too have sensitive. been able to say here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It wasn't you. a discussion. It was accusations that were being called uh, Yeah, well... I wasn't in here for that, Robin. I was. I didn't, uh, look, Keep Gary, mind. just be quiet. Can I just say something? <laughs> Remember you said to me during the when you asked me what I thought of your book, and you said, how come if my perceptions were off, you never told me? And I said, well, because I didn't think you wanted to hear it. So I'm saying that on that conversation, I think you're just exhausted, and I think it was done very lovingly. I don't think it was a, I don't think it was a harsh critique of your life. No, no, no. I think I you're taking see, it too, too intensely. You don't even know what happened. I didn't walk off the show because I was upset about what was being oh, said. Why did you walk off the show? I couldn't talk. It was like you all were having a discussion. I couldn't be a part of it anyway. It was too energy consuming. I don't know. There seems to be a lot of they. You know what? All, all I can say is you better just leave me alone. Why? What, what would happen? Because I don't want to be bothered with you and your opinions of what should happen. If you're with bothered. With you your 5,000 assistants. But you're, but you're late for everything. With you and your 5,000 assistants, so I don't want to hear So then get 5,000 assistants. I don't have time to do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whatever you have to do. I mean, you shouldn't be late for your book signing. Just screw you and let's no. go on with the show. You shouldn't be late. <laughs> I just wish I was in that hotel room. Yeah. I'm not in that hotel lobby yeah, you do wish when you she were. was informed no, but do you understand she had something? to go back and pack. But do you understand something? Oh, oh. She came there the night before, which was very good, yeah. very responsible. She, she missed the plane. I'm doing all I can. No, excuse me. She had missed the plane. To do that whole morning. You know what? Like, I'm leaving. You and the whole, morning was, me. the whole morning was free. Oh, the whole morning was free. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Okay. It's bizarre for me when I'm sitting here and all of a sudden, you know, the person I work with walks off the show. So, and I'm sorry, it's, but it's, yeah. I'm, I, that was part of it. It was like, you don't even understand how tired I am. Well, I don't think I could. Th you didn't yeah. ask. Well, <laughs> I was trying to explain, but I couldn't be heard, so I left. I couldn't even take it. Really? 
couldn't take being on the show. No, I couldn't take oh. not being able to get up to the point where I could be heard and be understood right. and be a part of the whole thing. Did you rest yesterday? May I ask? Oh, yes. Oh, you did? Absolutely. What do you think I'm doing? Trying to be tired? Now, what happened yesterday? Did you, what time did you get to bed? What time did you get home from Cleveland? I got home at around 6.37. And you went to bed? Yeah. And you rested yesterday? Yeah. All right. That's what I wanted to know. But maybe you're out at a disco. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I was doing that when I didn't have a problem. And what did you do to relax yesterday? I went to see... Uh... Oh, you went out. <laughs> All right, listen, I've had enough of it. I'm taking phone calls. It wasn't <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, man. You don't understand. All right, all right. I'm going to take some phone calls. She listen, I can't... I went to see Hamlet. Had... I thought it would be nice. There you go. Quivers of Life is in your bookstore right now. You're going to read about everything. You're going to understand everything. Uh, I'm not going to try to explain that either. You wouldn't understand. Right. Cleveland, you're on the air. Hi, I just wanted to let Howard know I was at the book signing on uh, Saturday. Yes. In Cleveland. I don't know that I want to hear any more about the book signing. It's too upsetting. <laughs> I don't know. She <laughs> might. And nothing happened. Nothing. I didn't say anything happened. Well, no. I, that's what they're all trying to say is that something happened. No, we don't mean that anything happened at the signing. We mean maybe something else happened in Cleveland oh, that we well, don't know about. I just know there was this woman in front of me who was kind of weird that might have set Robin off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure, I'm sure dealing with our audience would set anybody off, quite frankly. I've done yeah. a few book signings myself. Yeah, but she did um, an interview in Cleveland a couple hours before the signing, and she said there's people from all walks of life that come to her book signing, and it's true. They're all there. Were they there from all walks of life? Oh, yeah. Oh, they were. Mm-hmm. The There's... wild side. The what is that? Every walk. I, sometimes I think when a white woman calls it, it means a lot of black people. And <laughs> no. <so. laughs> no. The woman in front of me was very strange. She gave Robin a phoenix. Oh, yeah? A symbol of a phoenix. And she didn't even have a book. She said she left her book at home. <laughs> yeah, I'm that like, always freaks me out, yeah, too. Yeah, there were people who stood in the line and said, I don't have a book. Could you sign this? And there's like a million of them right behind the cash register. <laughs> She's like, no, I left my book at home. I'm yeah. like, you're coming to a book signing and you don't bring your book? Well, so, whatever. No, she was very good. She was very gracious, and she smiled the whole way through. Yep. But she was 15 minutes late. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. I have admitted to everything. It's not that you, you didn't lie about that. You were not accused of lying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I approach that book signing uh, topic uh, gingerly. Oh, how? Gingerly, you? Robin. You approach and don't get ginger around me. Well, I think I better <laughs> today. No, you, you know what? As a matter of fact, um, it does sound kind of weird to say you're tired from a book signing, but I've no, done no, those. No, 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 no. It's not a tired from a book signing. It's the whole schedule. Oh, the whole schedule. schedule. I've done those, and uh, I remember being pretty wiped out myself, yeah, it especially is, when uh, I had to run, run off to California and do that one and then get back. It was... Uh, that's, you know, it's the plane travel. You know, yeah, you yeah. get off on Friday, then you're facing getting on a plane, going to another city. You're in a strange place. Yeah, it's weird. Buffalo, you're on the air. This isn't exactly the easiest schedule to get through five days a week. Hi, Howard. Here, here, Robin. But I don't want any sympathy from you because that would be wrong. It wouldn't be you. No, that ain't me. <laughs> As I discovered this morning. Yeah. Look at me. I can't even keep my eyes up. My eyes are watering. Hey, I have the same problem. You know, you didn't ask what I did this weekend. I, I was sitting poolside yesterday. All I yesterday. ever hear is about your weekends, and I, was, I always understand. I was poolside, and, uh, you know, my wife didn't bring out cold drinks. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> oh, I had to get up and get my own. I'm going to get you. So I was pretty wiped That's out myself. Right. Yeah, I can imagine that right. you've had I've been on a pretty busy schedule too. myself. Where would you see Hamlet, by the way? I would see Hamlet on Broadway. Is that actually on Broadway? Yes. And, and people buy tickets to that? It's been sold out. <laughs> yes. Who's in that? Ralph Fiennes. Rafe. Rafe. Well, they were calling him Ralph last night, so I'm calling him Ralph, too. <laughs> and was he, Kathleen Turner said he's Ralph Fiennes. And is she in it as well? No, Kathleen Turner's in Indiscretions. Uh, and is it good, Hamlet, or is it boring? Hamlet has its moments. But it's boring. I mean, it's, it's a tough play to get right. through. But uh, if he, yeah, I guess he's do doing it about as well as anybody could. Can I make a suggestion to you? It's not the book signing you're exhausted from. It's from <laughs> seeing Hamlet. Oh, my God. Why would you go see that? It was long. Wow. I, I didn't realize how long it was going to be either. Did you go yourself, or did you bring a date? No, no, no. I went myself. It was like a spur of the moment. I was, you know, I get, when I get very tired, I get very antsy. I can't stop. Mm -hmm. I can't sit around, you know, and all of a sudden I was like, what am I going to do with myself today? I want to do something, even though I should be just sitting around doing nothing. What was this, a matinee? Yes. So I went to uh, see Hamlet. I see. That's a bad choice. I wouldn't go. To be awake or not to be awake? That's the question. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, that kind of makes me feel good that Hamlet could actually sell tickets. I mean, it makes, it makes you seem like there's some intelligent people around. You know what I mean? Like, I could never sit through that. Well, it's a limited run that's been sold out the entire time. So. Right. I think there's, what, 22 performances left or something? All right. We're going to take a break now. Everybody relax. 
I am calling an end to all books on it. <laughs> you don't run my life. No, I'm running it. <laughs> yes, I do. Get El Paso. <laughs> all right. You don't run El Paso my life. is off your list. Somebody said to me in the line in Cleveland, I don't believe the lie detector test. And oh, I, I don't said, either Why for a minute. Not? Yeah. And they said, because I don't believe that you were never in love with us. Oh, I don't believe it for a minute either. <laughs> the, That's our, why our, they're not admissible in court. Our fight didn't approve. <laughs> no, th- that proves you're back in love with me. Uh, yep. More than ever. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I got a lot of faxes about our, I wouldn't say it was a fight, but you, you say it wasn't a fight just now. You said it was. I wasn't fighting with you, but right. everybody else was characterizing it as such. So. It says, Howard, after all this time, I find it hard to believe you couldn't tell how upset Robin was. Why are you acting so nasty? Here's someone that I was acting nasty, and you're not even accusing me of that. Uh, Howard, it says, things are beginning to get very uncomfortable for your beloved listeners. I hate to hear you and Robin fight. Since reading Robin's book, I know she never shows her true feelings, and I hear hate in her voice for you now. Oh. She is pissed. You will not be jogging on my face today, I hope. Oh, yeah. I would never jog right. on your face again. Thank you. Oh. Rollerblading on your face. Everyone on Madison Avenue better head for the hills today. <laughs> <laughs> Robin's in the rag mode this morning. Be very careful, Howard. She might run amok with a meat cleaver or gun down the entire crew like a postal worker. Man, do I have douche chills. Yeesh, calm the frig down, Robin. You know what the problem is, Howard? Robin needs to seriously get laid. That'll make <laughs> that all that... Could help. that could help. I got to admit, that couldn't hurt. All that craziness will disappear. That's energizing. Robin, shut up, sit down, stop kvetching already. No one asked you to write this book. Don't do us any favors if you're going to complain about signing and doing interviews. Well, they got a point. You know, a lot of people out there working That's 80 true. hours a week. I'm really not complaining about that. It's just that it's a number of hours. This is un believable. If anyone else from the show were to say they were too tired to do the show as a result of an outside activity, you and Robin, I call her the lottery winner because she is talentless and you keep her with you, would ridicule that person mercilessly. If she's too tired, fire her lottery winning ass. Oh. Uh-oh. See, you see, the, the audience doesn't they turn always... on you. They do. Oh. <laughs> This one says I better be careful biking because Rob might get in a car and run me down. (laughs) Cut your brake cables. And this one says Robin Howard should not have anything to say about book signings. He did not even follow through with his plans to have one on Long Island. See, I was too tired. (laughs) Long Island has not seen his face. Since the underpants signing at Roosevelt Field in 1985. Did we do the one out there? I remember you went out there to do one. Wow. Please, I'm sorry I did that one. (laughs) (laughs) I I was too tired for that. (laughs) One thing about me, when I'm tired, I stay home. Right, Robin? That's right. Yes, absolutely. I've been home since 1985. (laughs) He's been tired. (laughs) That's right.